everybody, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Evan. And today, we're going to show you how you can fit everything you need for any outdoor adventure in just this bag and for less than 20 pounds. Now, before we get to that, please hit the subscribe button and tap that little bell right next to it. That way, you'll be notified every time we release a new video. All right, let's show you what we got. So first things first, we're gonna show you the basics. Let's start with food. While you might think that grabbing a few cans of soup or tuna might be a good idea, it's actually really heavy. And truthfully, it's just not very much food. This 72-hour survival food kit is a perfect solution. It has a variety of meals that are easy to make and only require water and heat. And because this is for Patriot survival food, I can throw it in my bag and not worry about it for 25 years. Not to mention, this entire kit only weighs three pounds. Now, one thing you need to prioritize during any outdoor adventure is staying hydrated. But water is heavy. Thankfully, the Patriot Pure personal water filter filters water from any source and it only weighs a couple of ounces. You can drink straight from it like a straw or you can attach it to a water bottle and filter the water that you'll need for drinking and cooking. As for cooking, I used to carry around a gas stove, but I got tired of going out and buying gas canisters and toting them around. That's why I got the Starfire Camp Stove. Even when you can't find firewood, this runs on sticks and leaves, which you can find anywhere. It's collapsible and portable and only weighs one pound. Plus, it cooks your food fast. As a bonus, it can also keep you warm in colder temps. To light your camp stove, you'll need a reliable lighter, like the Firebolt waterproof tactical arc lighter and flashlight. I know it's a mouthful, but it's lightweight, waterproof, and more importantly, it's rechargeable, so you never run out. Combine the camp stove with a lightweight cooking pot, like this one, and a versatile utensil, and you've got everything you need for a delicious meal. To make things easier, I like using these little fire starter cubes. They're not necessary, but they make starting a fire way easier and a lot quicker. Next, we have mobile power, courtesy of our Patriot Power Cell. This gadget is pretty useful because you can charge two devices at once, so you don't have to worry about your phone dying on you. And the best part is that it's solar, so you can just throw it on your backpack while you're hiking and it'll recharge with the sun. Speaking of the sun, eventually it will go down. So for light, we've got the Soul Lantern and the Halo XT multi-use flashlight. Both are solar powered and weigh in together at only one pound, so they are perfect for lightweight camping. You can hang the Soul Lantern from a tree branch to provide soft white light for you at night. And the ultra bright Halo XT has a built-in compass, which may come in handy on those long hikes. So now we've covered food, water, warmth, and light. And now it's time to take care of some creature comforts. Most people rely on cell phones as their main source of communication and entertainment, but what if you don't have service? The talk and go Walkie-talkies weigh less than two pounds and they work up to three miles. And the Liberty Band emergency solar radio may seem unnecessary at first, but it gives you both weather security and a form of entertainment when you're hanging at the campsite. Definitely a bonus if you get deep enough in the woods. Multi-tools are an outdoor essential. They're so incredibly versatile, it's got too many uses to even mention. But let's be honest, even with a nifty multi-tool like this, camping can be hard work. That's why you should always have a first aid kit on hand. The Patriot First Aid 129 has 129 different medical components, hence the name. This kit could be a lifesaver, and at only one and a half pounds, it's not gonna weigh you down. For sleeping, I love my hammock. It keeps me off the ground, has mosquito netting for the summers, and even a rain fly, all weighing less than three pounds. You do need trees though. Yeah, it's really easy. All you gotta do is set it up, throw your sleeping bag in there, which weighs about a pound, and then I take all our gear and I put it underneath to protect it from the rain. Uh, I also bring along a baggie that I fill with odds and ends like rubber bands and toiletries. Sure, we could narrow this down a bit in an emergency, but this is the setup we really like for our fun camping trips. Hopefully we've given you some helpful tips on how you can cover your needs in 20 pounds or less. Now, did we leave something out? Let us know in the comments. And thanks for watching, and make sure you hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one.